Hola, gentlemanly man, men. Uh, welcome to another rewatch. Uh, I accidentally, I usually pause it around 10 minutes. This time I was distracted, so I decided to pause it. I didn't catch it till like five minutes, so I'm gonna keep it somewhat paused. Why? Nah, it's okay. I'll keep going. I'll just be fast. So we have another rewatch on Mediterranean round one, three v three. Without further ado, I have myself as the Hindustanis. Uh, let's actually go like this. In the red, we have Jono as the Byzantine, and Larry as the Spanish as Team One. Love it every time I get to be on uh, Larry's team. <coughs> Excuse me. Then, oh wow, look at this beautiful wall, Spencer. That looks awesome. Um, anyways, in the orange, we have Spencer as also the token Spanish Spanish fight. Uh, we also have, wait a minute, Ricky Spencer, he built all the way over there. You have Travis in the green as the Vikings. Uh, and then you have Tanner also as the Hindustanis. So me and Tanner are going to Hindustani it out here on the side. Um, let's actually check on this. I'm starting to, I got to finish these walls real quick. Hopefully I get that actually done there running out of stone. This wall was really interesting because I built it and it wouldn't build for some reason. I don't know if Tanner had also built a building on the same, on top of it or something, another section of wall. I, I just, I really don't know why it wouldn't build. And so this didn't get built until recently. Tanner built Palisade wall here as well. Um, so there's that. Let's see. Jono, I think it's cooking on the water. Larry, Larry first wanted to go full water. And so did John. John wanted to kind of go half and half, um, which might have been okay because this is pretty walled off a good bit. But it's I mean it's just one wall and there's this oh no two walls I guess. Um, so Spencer's getting ready to go land. Travis is gonna go water, and that's gonna be interesting because Travis kind of basically scares Larry off the water real quick. Um, Tanner is probably a good idea to make another secondary wall back. Um, I think, I believe I did the same thing. I think I ended up building this wall way back here at some point. But, yeah, see, there's that. I complete that. Okay, let's see. We have one more minute left. Trades go from corner to corner. Everything looks pretty good. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to start walling that up. I'm just waiting for some more stone. Travis is getting ready. I do not see any ships from Larry or Jono, which is not a great sign considering how many ships that uh, Travis already has. 17 seconds left, 15. Um, <laughs> let's see. I have not built a single troop yet, but I'm going to start to very soon. Tanner's ready with some trebuchets. I was, those are annoying right off the bat. All right, treaty drop is done. So Larry has all these docks, he's ready to go, and then he sees this, and I think he's like, no, thank you, sir. I am not going to contest that. But uh, Travis, Travis was ready. He was like, let's go. Uh, let's see, does Spencer have, Spencer's got some onagers. Uh, Larry's got some bombard cannons just from the safety behind the wall. It's interesting enough, this is only Spencer's wall. I don't see that Larry even has a wall. So Spencer could technically just like delete something and waltz right in. Maybe. I don't know. Um, it kind of looks that way. Unless I'm mistaken. I can't see Larry's wall. But I mean it works in Larry's favor because he's just like, oh no, it's, it's fine. Um, I'll just cut right through it. So let's look over here. Alright, so Tanner with his trebuchets killed my castle. He's going to start killing these. He got through first. Um, and he started attacking me. I noticed at this point, I was like, oh, shoot, guys. I don't have a single upgrade. Like, for my blacksmith. And Larry's like, no! No! <laughs> Why do you always do this when I'm on your team? I'm like, I'm sorry, Larry! Please forgive me! I'll try my best! <laughs> I was so disappointed in myself. Uh, but luckily, I hold the line. Um, I get those upgrades in, I start I start rebuilding, get some oh, bombard dude. cannons to take out some of these uh, trebuchets. Um, luckily, I didn't get too much flak over here. I mean, I had a secondary wall in case that did happen. Um, yeah, Tanner's just bringing, bringing forth the trebuchets. 
Luckily, I did have some bombard cannons. I think he actually kills my bombard cannons with his trebuchets, which is always very impressive. I can usually micro them, but if I'm not paying attention, I'm trying to and kill them. Um, yeah, he's taking out stables, but luckily I'm starting to I'm starting to send some guys in there. Camels aren't great against camels, or castles. We'll see about that. Okay, so Travis is just like I'm owning the water. You shall not do anything. Uh, Jano, I think, is trying to get on the water, but let's go back over here to Larry. Larry is in. He's got a whole, he's got a rat ton of bomber cans. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15. About 13 bombard cannons um, with some paladins that finally upgraded. Uh, he's rebuilding castle. Um, Spencer, he does have the military units here. I mean, he's got a lot of buildings here, so he can produce quite the force pretty quickly. But we'll see, that's a lot of bombard cannons, so that's not going to last very long. Going back to Travis. Yeah, Travis is. Everyone's basically banned in the water. John was kind of trying. I don't know if he was getting ready to land drop, but. He, Travis is just like, okay, I guess I got the water. You, you do that, Travis. We're gonna we're gonna stay the land. Uh, so it looks like I have gotten through. I got some bombard cannons. I'm starting to build. I decided I needed to get some some skirmishers in there just because he was amassing a lot of um, hand cannoneers from what I noticed. Uh, so I'm gonna take down this castle real quick and I'm gonna start getting to his buildings. Luckily, I got these up when I did. Yeah, still no fuck over here. Travis has got some ships there. Boom, 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 boom. Let's go back to Chan. I was just like, okay, as long as I can hold Tanner, and I'll, I'm not the weak link, Larry's gonna do his thing. Larry did his thing, so he's he's killing uh, Spencer little by little. I didn't get to look over here during the whole game because I was just focused on Tanner. Um, Travis has got some other guys right there. He's, Larry's going to get into Travis pretty quickly. He technically could just swarm all of his paladins in here. Start killing some bills. Um, Travis is trying to kill everything within the shoreline reach. Jono's trying to keep him in check, but that's, that's just a lot to deal with. Uh, let's see, going back over here, Tanner is starting to push back. I've, I've killed some buildings. Um, but Tanner has to Ooh, let's see, we got blue. Blue, okay. So Larry, this is this is huge, especially with my fight with Tanner. So Larry plunges some paladins in. He's going to go straight back for that trade. He still has bombard cannons here, just going crazy. They're targeting this kind of useless piece of wall, but, you know, I'm not going to question Larry for being the rock star who was this game. Um, I had some questionable moves myself. Alright, let's come back over here, up north. Alright, so I'm trying to like... Oh, this is why I built skirmishers, because I saw crossbow men. I mean, they're not arbalists, but they still do a lot of damage to, to camels, so... I decided I'd build some skirmishers to try and counter them. I think I'm going to end up building more archery ranges back here. So we're just kind of stalemate right now. I did some damage to him to some of his uh, military production. I'm here to Travis. Travis is just chilling. <laughs> He's just chilling there. Uh, does Travis have military buildings? He's got a barracks. Let's go back over here. So Larry has made it back into the trade. Spencer has thrown up a really quick castle. Um, but Larry's doing some work on this trade, and it, it becomes a big deal real quick, because Hindustanis use a lot of gold. Pretty soon, I'm going to start seeing some Hussars. Uh, I'm like, oh hey, he's out of gold. Um, Larry has castle dropped on the Spencer Travis side of the wall. Uh, he's ignoring all these, which is probably a good idea. He's just carving a path right to the trade. Oh, <laughs> here are these sneaky oh, bombard cannons just trying to go back there to the corner. Uh, where are Travis's ships? He's got a little pocket there. He's got some here. I wonder if he deleted some for some pop space. See castle. I still don't see that Travis has built any land. Oh no, right here, right here. Okay, so Travis has built some barracks, and he's he's trying to send some uh, some pikemen. He's not get fully upgraded, upgraded halves, but his pikemen still do some bonus damage to to cavalry, so it's still probably a good unit. Um, Larry's kind of everywhere with this pocket of paladins. Uh, his paladins are still over here, still racking the trade, uh, doing some dirty work. Let's see, oh, yep, Let's see, at this point, I was like, thank you, Larry. Because I started seeing all the hussars, and I'm like, he's out of gold. Yeah. And hussars against camels is not a great matchup. So. 
Ah, oh, well, he's got maybe a little bit more gold. There's some camels. Back to the water. Travis. I mean, that's my wall. I specifically did not want to build anything close to the water. Because I was like, I do not want to mess with, with water. I mean, those bombard cannons could probably still reach here. I'll put this right here. Jono has built a force. I think the little... Did Travis just get distracted enough to where Jono does that? If you leave Jono alive, he will just rebuild and rebuild and rebuild. And he will come at you. Check back on Larry. It looks like they got him out of the trade. Now here he comes back for round two. He's got castles, he's got paladins, he's he's got another wave of bombard cannons coming. Larry is getting ready just to roll. Um see Travis I mean he's he's trying Spencer has now built back in his own base and they're trying to regroup and repress on Jono has he's trying to own the water that's that's a late time to own the water but you know no time like the present so there he goes uh, see I'm up here alrighty yep I'm starting to slowly take away Tanner and all of his military production. It doesn't seem like he's got too much beyond this wall except for a barracks. So once this is gone, uh, that could be GG with Tanner. He's still got this double wall, but uh, I got a good amount of bombard cannons. Ah, I only oh. got four. Not compared to Larry's like 13 from what it was. All right, so Spencer and Travis have now regrouped. Uh, they got a lot of house. A lot of spearmen. Um, Jono is winning the fight on. Eh, I wouldn't say winning. He's. I would say he's. Winning. I would say he's. Winning, which is always impressive against the Vikings. He managed to mass those uh, fast fire ships enough. I'm not seeing any other pockets of Travis's ships. All right, so I am castle dropping over here. All dude. Bombard cannons. I'm popcaps somewhere. Oh, did I lose houses? Is this me? I think that is me. Did I not build enough houses? Oh, only have about 20 more pop space for that. Um, see, Jono. Yeah, Jono's going crazy. He is owning that water. Um, Larry is just slowly just eating away. He's building another castle on top of his. Oh, well, there were three castles here. There's one. Yeah, so I just got these trebuchets, those are always very dangerous. So, but Larry is he's slowly building and inching forward. He's doing a great job. John is doing a great job. He's getting rid of all Travis on the water, but I think at this point they've abandoned the water. I mean, they're just trying to hold on land. Um, I'm starting to move here in the north. I'm starting to get into Tanner's stables. I got the right units if want to send camels or crosswomen, so... I'm looking pretty okay up here. There's Tanner. Or there's Travis. What man designed is just they just didn't think it was gonna happen. They were kind of regrouping. But GG nonetheless. Everyone did a great job. Alright, let's turn the map. They did spend quite a while without any trade though, which was devastating. Larry Hunt with the high military score. Nice. Economy goes to Spencer. Technology goes to Tanner. Total score of what's Larry. Larry, great KDA. I'm just glad I got a positive KDA at that point. But yeah, Larry got a great KDA. It's double. More than double. He's got the building phrase. John lost the least amount of troops. Um, I lost the least amount of buildings. And let's see. Largest army goes to Travis. Um, economy. Larry was the most fed. Spencer actually got the next. He had the biggest wood and was the most stoned. Lethal combo. Uh, Larry was the sultan. Um, by a good amount, me and Larry. Yeah, tra Tanner was hurting for gold. If, if, if Tanner had gold, that probably would have been a lot better better fight. I, I don't think I would have gained as much ground on Tanner. I think we probably would have just stalemated for a long time, and it would have just all came down to Larry on the other side. Um, but luckily, Larry got into the trade, and he ran out of gold super quick. Um, I received some resources, and 
Travis gave the most resources, just a little bit, but you know, it's worth mentioning. Um, Travis had the fast castle and imperial age. I had the fast feudal age, which doesn't say too much. Um, Relic gold goes to Spencer, also with the villager high of 253. Um, I was close behind at 245. Larry close behind that. And yeah, good game, guys. I will get on to round two.